Hello, friends. How are you? I am so excited today because we are almost to 100 subscribers. We are three people away from having 100 subscribers. That is so amazing for us. It is a huge milestone. So if you have not subscribed to the Douglas Cherokee Head Start channel, please, please click the button and click the all notifications so you'll never miss a video. You'll always know when a video is posted and you can change it at any time. So if your child goes to kindergarten next year, all you have to do is um, change that bell icon so you don't you won't, if you don't want to get the videos then you won't get them anymore or you can unsubscribe okay but if your child is in virtual with douglas cherokee head start make sure you subscribe so you can get the notifications when a new video is posted all right today we are talking about trees and today or this week's topic is learning about who lives in trees. So right now I have two different books and it's kind of funny because I was doing the um, book research to get the books. I didn't realize one was a creative curriculum book which is called Who Lives in Trees? I'll show you. Who Lives in Trees? And then I found this book who lives in a tree? Crazy. One little difference of a word. One has a in it and the other title doesn't. And it has trees instead of tree. So what we're going to do is we're going to read both of these books today. And we're going to compare them and see if they have the same things that live in trees, or maybe they have something different, or maybe we, you can tell me what your favorite animal was, okay? So we're going to read the digital one first, which is Who Lives in Trees, okay? And this is a perfect time of year because there are so many things that are living in trees right now, so it is incredible. All right, let's get started. Who, who, who lives in this tree? With wings I can fly to my nest way up high. I am an owl. I live in this tree. Oh, do you see the little baby owls? How cute. The mama owl's probably coming to feed them. Who, who, who lives in this tree? With a strong tail and arms, I can swing all day long. I am a monkey. I live in this tree. See the monkey? Then we have who, who, who lives in this tree? With sticky little toes, I can cling upside down. I am a tree frog. I live in this tree. There it goes. Wasn't wanting to focus. Probably because I'm going back and forth. Okay. Who, who, who lives in this tree? With a long tail and claws, I can climb up and down. I am an ant eater. I live in this tree. Do you guys see the ant eater over here? Who, who lives in this tree? With skin stretched like wings, I can glide through the air. I am a flying dragon. I live in this tree. A flying dragon? Have you ever heard of a flying dragon? 
How cool is that? Who, who, who lives in this tree? With wings, I can fly to my big buzzing hive. I am a bee. I live in this tree. You see the bees? Who, who, who lives in this tree? I scrape out a den that smells just a bit. I am a skunk. I live in this tree. Now, look at this picture. Is the tree uh, growing or is this tree laying on the ground? Can you tell? Yes, this tree is laying on the ground. So they don't climb in the trees until they're on the ground and they burrow make a little den in the trees. How cool is that? Who, who, who lives in trees? Who lives in this tree? With a strong grip and claws, I hold on with my paws. I am a koala. I live in this tree. Koala bears are my favorite. Cool. Who, who, who lives in this tree? With wings, I can fit. I can fit. I'm sorry, let me start over. With wings, I can flit to brunch on a branch. I am a ladybug. I live in this tree. That was a bit of a tongue twister. <laughs> cool little ladybug. Who, who lives in this tree with sharp little colors, claws, I'm sorry, with sharp little claws, I scurry with my snack. I am a squirrel. I live in this tree. What do you think the squirrel likes to eat? Yes, it likes to eat nuts. We have lots of squirrels at my house because we have walnut trees in our yard. So we have plenty of nuts and also oak trees, which have acorns. Who, who lives in this tree? With wings, I can flutter from my cozy cocoon. I'm a butterfly. I live in this tree. Who, who lives in this tree? Hooks on my feet help me walk on my web. I am a spider. I live in this tree. Did you know spiders live in trees? Who, who lives in this tree? With speedy wings, I dart to the babies in my nest. I am a hummingbird. I live in this tree. Hummingbirds are very tiny little birds. Who, who lives in this tree? Uh-oh. I slither and squeeze as I coil up to snooze. I'm a tree snake. I live in this tree. You see the green snake? Who, who lives in this tree? My beak beats a hole where my nest will be built. I am a woodpecker. I live in this tree. Have you ever heard a woodpecker pecking? It pecks really hard and really fast. It makes a cool sound. Who, who lives in this tree? I perch way up high where I hang upside down. I am a bat. I live in this tree. Who, who lives in this tree? With eggs in my nest, I sit warm in my nook. I am a bluebird. I live in this tree. The bluebird is sitting. Yep. Who, who lives in this tree? With color, with claws, I dig tunnels. Tree roots are my roof. I am a wombat. 
I live in this tree. It's called a wombat. Who, who lives in this tree? No claws and no wings. Our feet aren't sticky things. We are children. We play in this tree. Do you like to play in the trees? Let's talk about what trees need. What is this right here? Do you see that? It's the sun and they need soil and they need rain. Very good. Now let's talk about some things that harms trees. When we don't have enough water, it's called a drought, a drought. So if there's not enough rain or not enough water, then trees can die. Fire, fire is very bad for trees because it, it burns the trees. And then all these animals that we just talked about don't have a home. In pests and disease, so some creatures harm trees, little bugs. Um, there's one called an emerald, emerald borer or something like that, and it kills trees. It's not really, it's not very good. And also, trees can get sick um, from different um, diseases, just like we get, you and I get sick. So trees can get sick too, and that can be very unhealthy. So, all right, so let's read our second book, Who Lives in a Tree? So we've already learned some animals that live in a tree. We're going to read this one, and it's a very short, quick book. I want you to think about the animals that we've already talked about and see if there's any that were not in the other story. Okay? All right. Who lives in a tree? Beetle. Bee. Did we talk about bee in the other story? Yes, we did. Did we talk about a bluebird in the other story? Yes, we did. Great job. How about a blue jay? Did we talk about the blue jay? No, we didn't, just the bluebird. How about a bobcat? Did we talk about the bobcat in our, in our other story? No, we didn't. Did you know bobcats live in trees? I bet that it's a super good hiding place and hunting place for them because they can get up high and look on the ground for smaller animals to eat. How about an iguana? Did we talk about an iguana in our last story? No. How about an inchworm? Did we talk about an inchworm? No, we didn't. How about a jaguar? A jaguar. Did we talk about a jaguar? No. A koala. Did we talk about a koala? We sure did. A monkey. Was monkey in our other story? Yes, it was. And this is a different kind of monkey. It's called an orangutan. Orangutan. Did we talk about a possum? No, we didn't talk about a possum. How about a raccoon? Was a raccoon in our other story? No. A ring-tailed lemur. A ring-tailed lemur. Was that in our story? It wasn't. A sloth. Was a sloth in our story? No. 
How about a squirrel? A squirrel. Was a squirrel in our story? Yes, it was. How about the tree frog with its sticky toes? Yes, we sure did. How about that? That was pretty good. So we had some new animals and we had some animals that we hadn't talked about. So that is really cool. So what is your favorite animal? Oh, that is so cool. Thank you for sharing. Mine is the koala bear. I love koala bears. I always have. All right, friends. I hope you enjoyed our two stories today. And um, don't forget to like and subscribe. We're so close. We're three away from reaching 100. So subscribe, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much, guys. See you next time. Thank you.